Hey everyone, it's Benny, and today we're talking about instant wire again. This time, how to build an instant XOR gate. And as you can see, it's rather complicated. So let's get started. <coughs> now, if you remember from the last video, when you're building these gates, you sort of have to do the um, you sort of have to wire them up as the the inverse logic of you want because you're trying to get the off state. The off state represents the number you're getting. So, you know, you're kind of doing it backwards. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to build an XNOR gate for the positive part and an XOR gate for the bottom part. And that's at least the theory of how this is going to work. And, um, yeah. So, that's also how it's kind of layered. At the top part is the XNOR gate and the bottom part is the XOR gate. So, first off, we have to get XOR and XNOR gate logic straight. I have that sort of labeled up here. The XOR, XNOR gate, excuse me, is positive A and positive B, or negative A and negative B. And an XOR gate is positive A and negative B, or negative A and positive B. So, um, yeah. So, hopefully, that will keep this a little bit straight in your mind as we start building this. So, I'm going to go over there and set up our usual instant gate setup, and I'll be back in a moment. Alright, I have the gate base set up, and here we go. Now, I will warn you that I do not have this design completely memorized, so I'm just going to sort of do this in segments. I'm going to start with not B, then not, then B, then not A, then A. I'm just going to sort of build it in that order. So, to start, we have not B. How are we going to do this? Well, for not B, we'll need to test if it's not B and A, for the um, XOR gate, and not B and not A for the XNOR gate. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to build a sort of spiral staircase system right here, and this will just act as my sort of, uh, I guess you could call it a, I don't really know what you want to call it, but this is how I'll get it from the bottom layer and to the top layer. And I'll set it to daytime, and here we go. So we need to test not B and A on the bottom layer, so I'll build an AND gate here, and I'll just have A eventually going into this side, and we also need to test B and, or not B and not A, so I'll do that test right here. And there we go. So this is the not B as all of the connections to not be sort of set up already. So, there you go. Now we're going to test for positive B. So what do we need to test for B? Well, we need to test for getting B and A, and we also need to test for getting B and not A. So, let's go ahead and start. So first off, I'm going to move this around a little bit, just to make room for other wires we're going to eventually have. And, yeah. So, right here, this is where we will test whether we have B and A for the XNOR gate. So, I'm going to build some blocks here. And, right here, we're testing whether we're going to have B and A. And, over here, we're going to test whether we have B and not A. So, I'm going to bring that over. And, I'm going to do like this. So, there we go. We're testing B and A, and B and not A. So now, we actually have it mostly set up. We just need to plug in not A, where we need not A. We need to plug in A, where we need A. So, to start, I'm going to do not A. So, I, if I actually can put things down, I'm going to move up like this, so that I have room to do other things. And I'm going to go down like this, and this is where I'm going to plug in not A for the B and not A part. Now I need to go over here, and clearly there's a little bit of a space constraint, but I can still plug it in here. And now I have not A and not B being tested. So great, we just have A left. So for A, we have a slight issue, and that issue is the two places we need A are here and here. And this is going to cause a slight problem, because our A input is 
being gotten from right here. So what we are actually going to do is we are going to dig under a bit. Go through here, and here we go. I'm going to put a block here so that doesn't cross. And hopefully I can reach. And there we mostly go. We're going to actually have to go around here a bit so we don't cross anything we don't want to. And go right there. There's the first place we needed A plugged in. The other place is right here. The way we're going to do this is pretty simply like this. So there we go, we have all of our inputs plugged into the AND gates. The only final part of the XOR gate we need to do is to all of the OR testing between these AND gates. So the way I do this is I just use an OR gate. And I just use the exact same OR gate design that we've been talking about all along. I do um, outputs like this. And there we go, this will be my negative output. Now to get the positive, I'll need it from the X nor gate, and the way I do this one's a little bit weirder, but it's not horrible, at least. So there we go, we just need the pistons to line up right, and there we go. Now we need the torch, and there we go. So now, I'm just need to get my outputs sort of displayed, I guess. And the way I'm going to do this is just really simply drag them down in order. Um, there we go. These are my two outputs. This is my positive output, this is my negative output. And yeah, so let's test our XOR gate. I did not put levers on them. So button well, I'll put right here to make it easier to test. Except I actually need to move this back now. So, one moment. I'm sorry, I'm experiencing technical difficulties. There we go. Okay, now we get to test it. So, this should give me a 0 and a 1, because it's 0. So if I hit Run, in a way that can, everything can be seen, Hooray! Both zeros are working. Now let's test a one zero. So if we go one zero, hit run. I've got a one. It's working. If I hit one one, this should give me a zero. And it does. Now the last one to test is, I believe, this one. Yep, one zero. And just to be sure, this one. Yep, one zero. All right. So there you go. This is how you build an instant. XOR gate. I, if you managed to make it through this, then congratulations, because I know this was not easy. And yeah, so, before I go, I would like to show you what a full adder made entirely out of instant wire looks like, so an instant full adder. And here we are, this right here, instant full adder. It is built just straight from instant adder logic, or nothing to be regular adder logic, except I just replaced XOR gate, AND gates, and the OR gate with instant XOR gate, AND gates, and OR gate. So you may or may not actually be able to see this work. I don't think I'm going to be able to rotate to an angle where you might be able to see from here. I'll try. So right now I have all zeros, and hmm got to move this thing backwards. Whoops. So there we go. And hopefully you'll be able to see this thing work. Why am I... Oh, I'm under stuff. So right now I have to... I have all zeros in my inputs. Let's just hit the button in a way that we can actually see the output and see if it works. Okay, yeah, this is really impossible to see, but I'm sorry. I can't fully demonstrate it, but if you wanted to build an instant 
the ladder. I have tested this off camera and it does work. But, um, yeah. This is what it will take to make a single full ladder from instant wire. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time.